pretty good day folks hope everyone's having a wonderful day uh, I am out here door dashing uh, I've been out here door dashing all day now I'm gonna do about an hour or so an hour and a half or so of door dashing on this video now I've already door dashed for In 1,000 feet use the left two lanes to turn left onto US 231 South I've already been door dashing for uh, for about four hours and so far I made some pretty good money. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto US 231 South. And I'm here, I'm dashing to, I'm dashing this evening in Troy, Alabama. Now, earlier when I was dashing, I dashed four hours and I made, uh, I made $70, which at least in this market, $70 four hours is not shabby at all. I mean, there were a couple of dashes where I had to drive over 10 minutes each way, but the amount of money that I received in tips accommodated, uh, accommodated for the time and the gas that I had to take that trip out there. So. I gotta say so far today, it's been a fairly decent day for dashing here in Troy, Alabama. I mean, I'm fairly satisfied. Hopefully I can, hopefully I can clear another 30 to $40 in this next hour and a half. I'm probably living in fantasy lane right now, but oh well. I try to dream big and if big happens, great. If something halfway in between small and big happens, I'll take that as well. But yeah, so far it's been a fairly good day. I mean, I got an order I'm getting ready to deliver. It was, I forgot, uh, I can't even begin to pronounce the name of the restaurant. It's, a, it's, it's an Asian place here in Troy. My customer is three minutes away from where I'm currently at, so... I'll see you guys in a minute. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Troy Plaza Loop. In a quarter mile, turn left on Detroit Plaza Loop. Take the next left on Detroit Plaza Loop, then turn left. Alright folks, I think I'm at one of these. I think Take my the next right onto Red Wave Memorial Street, then okay. turn right onto Dozier Drive. Alright folks, I think my six hundred feet, turn left onto South George Wallace Drive. I think my customer is gonna be off in one of these hotels. Cause sometimes the GPS be fucking up, so I'm gonna cut this camera off and I'll talk to you in a minute. Folks, I made a little mistake a minute ago. I thought I was going to get one order and deliver that order. Actually, when I pressed the accept button, I chose to accept a double order from two different restaurants. One from the Asian place and the other one from uh, Baskin Robbins. So my first customer is a minute away, so that's not bad. So we're gonna take care of that customer first. So I'm gonna turn the camera. Take the next left on Detroit. Take 
the next right onto Red Wave Memorial Street, then turn right onto Dozier Drive. Take the next right onto Dozier Drive, then your destination will be on the left. destination is on the left. The customer requested you hand them the order. They added the following instructions. Hand it to me. Okay. I guess the customer is here at Ruby Tuesday. Alright folks, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, uh, well it turned out that those two deliveries belong to the same person. Which gave me a big break on time and gas. And I got a $25 tip. So I'm blessed. I'm very grateful. That was a wonderful customer. Now I got another order. I gotta go to Arby's and pick it up. It's like a few minutes drive from where I'm currently located. So we'll see what that order does. All right, folks, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Turn left onto Dozier Drive, then turn right onto US 231 South. feet turn left to stay on North Dozier Trailer Park. Take the next left to stay on North Dozier Trailer Park, then turn left onto Dozier Drive. In 600 feet, turn left onto Dozier Drive. Take the next left onto Dozier Drive, then turn right onto US 231 South. Continue on US 231 South for 7 miles. Hi people, for those of you that never worked DoorDash before or you're new to DoorDash, uh, one thing that irritates the shit out of me about this app, another thing rather is that order I, I got an order for Arby's and they didn't have me, they're gonna have me go all the way north on 231 when Arby's 
was only a hop, skip, and a jump, basically, from those apartment complexes that I, that I just got out of. So, you know, I saw, like, when I left the apartment complex, I'm thinking to myself, okay, we're here in Troy, Alabama. You only got one of each restaurant. And the Arby's that I'm getting ready to go to is located right by uh, the, the Tyler Max place right here. So the, the, the phone number that was on the app, Arby's phone number, I called that number just to confirm that for some off reason, I didn't, you know, I didn't get this Arby's misconstrued of another Arby's that I had no idea even existed. So yeah, this is the Arby's I'm supposed to go to and pick up my order. So, FII, when you use the GPS that's connected to your DoorDash app, it's not gonna always be reliable. In fact, when I was dashing earlier, you know, I was supposed to drop off an order at a lumber business here in Troy. And rather than it taking me to a lumber place, it then took me to a place, it then took me to someone's house that was a mile away from the business. So FYI, when you work DoorDash, be very careful. These apps be fucking up. All right, folks, I'll be right back. Folks, I got my Arby's. We're about to go for a little ride. Uh, this customer is 11 minutes away. So they're gonna be out in the sticks most likely. So we, we about to go for a ride. In 300 feet, turn left onto US 231 South. Take the next left onto US 231 South. Well, although they call this 231 South, the GPS does. I mean, really, this is 231, and I'm headed 231 North. Continue on US 231 South for eight miles. They mean to say 231 North.
Ryan Road. right onto Orion Road. In half a mile, you will arrive at your destination. I don't know if you guys just heard that but it's got me already at the business I'm going back to, to the lumber business I was there earlier this afternoon so this time around I know where it's at so that's what I'm saying this GPS that is connected to the DoorDash app is not always the most reliable but fortunately I know where this place is at because I was there earlier so I don't have to deal with that headache. Alright folks, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Alright folks, I just got that order delivered. Uh, the employee came to my car so I didn't even have to get out of the car. I got a little over $8 off of that deal so I don't think that's shabby at all. Alright folks, I'll talk to you in a minute. Alright folks, uh, I was a minute away from my dash being over because I was supposed to end my dash at 7.30. And I would say right at 7, right at 7.29, I got an order, which I just picked up from Bileen's Mexican restaurant, Mexican uh, restaurant. And I got one more order to pick up from Little Caesar's Pizza. So I got two In one thousand feet, turn left onto first street. So I got so I went from assuming that I was gonna be kicked off the app for the night to accepting two orders. Take the next left onto 1st Street, then turn left onto Corman Avenue. So I'm going, I'm on my way to Little Caesars. 
to, to go pick up my second order. Take the next left onto Corman Avenue. Hopefully I can make some good money off of these two deliveries. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Memorial Parkway. right onto Memorial Parkway, then turn right onto South Brundage Street. Take the next right onto South Brundage Street. on South Brundage Street for half a mile. In a quarter mile, turn left. destination. All right, folks, I'll be back. I'm here at Little Caesars. You have arrived. All right, folks, uh, I just got my Little Caesars order picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete my two deliveries. My first delivery is three minutes away from this location. turn right onto University Avenue. In 500 feet, turn left onto Thompson Street. Take the next left onto Thompson Street, then turn left onto Park Street. Take the next left onto Park Street. Turn right onto University Avenue.
next right onto University Avenue, then turn left onto Fulmer Street. Next left onto Fulmer Street, then your destination will be on the right. Alright folks, I'm at my customer's place, so I will speak to you guys in a second. Hey folks, I got my first delivery done. I got my second delivery still left to do. No, my first delivery that I, 800 feet turn left onto East Madison Street on the first delivery that I just completed uh, luckily I was able to get in touch with the customer and the customer agreed to meet me in the parking lot because it turned out that the first delivery took me to Take the, the next right onto University Avenue then turn right onto Park Street the first delivery that I just got done making uh, took me to the wrong apartment complex The apartment complex that I was supposed to go to was actually across the Take street the next right onto Park Street So I'm I'm grateful that the customer came out and met me at the parking lot So for those of you in half a mile, turn right on Down Street. So, for those of you that never dashed before or you're new with door dashing, never be afraid to call or text your customer if you need help with getting to their, their location. Sometimes when you go to a restaurant, the restaurant may not have exactly what the customer want. So, you have to, so, you know, so at that point you need to call the customer and, and, and communicate with your customer that the customer that the restaurant doesn't have what they want and then ask the customer if there's anything they would like as a substitute. next customer is a minute away from where I'm currently at. Take the next right on Elm Street, then turn right. Turn right. All right, folks. I believe I'm I'm at my customer's location, so I'll talk to you in a minute, folks. I got another order for Pizza Hut. I just. I just now picked up that order. I am now getting ready to deliver it to my customer. And my customer is five minutes away from this location.
Take the next right toward US 231 South, then turn left. Take the next left toward US 231 South, then turn left onto US 231 South. Turn left onto US 231 South. Continue on US 231 South for three quarters of a mile. Turn left onto Pecan Street. Take the next left onto Pecan Street. Continue for half a mile. feet, turn left onto Park Street. left onto Park Street. In a quarter mile, turn right onto West Collegedale Street. Next right onto West Collegedale Street. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination.
you have arrived. The customer requested you hand them the order. They added the following instructions. Hand it to me, text when here. All right, folks, I'll talk to you in a second. Folks, I just got a new order for McDonald's. I just got done delivering the Pizza Hut order. That order, the, the, the Pizza Hut order was a bit of an ordeal. I mean, the customer, I guess the customer's friend was the one that put the order in and they gave me the wrong address. But anyhow, in 400 feet, turn right toward University Avenue. The person who turn right toward University Avenue, then turn left onto University Avenue. The person whom the order was intended for, I mean, you know, she she was real nice, real understanding. She came and met me uh, at another. She she came and met me. Take the next left onto University Avenue where I was at and and I handed her the order. So she was very nice, very understanding. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto South George Wallace Drive. And I got a $10, I got $10 for that delivery, which ain't, which isn't shabby. I'm now on my way to McDonald's to pick up a McDonald's order. Take the next right onto South George Wallace Drive. Continue on South George Wallace Drive for three quarters of a mile. Alright folks, I'll speak. Alright folks, I'll talk to you in a second. I'm gonna rush to McDonald's and get this order. Alright folks, I got my McDonald's order. Uh, my customer is eight minutes away. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Feet, turn right onto US 231 South. Turn US 231 South for four miles.
half a mile, turn right onto Monticello Drive. Turn right onto Monticello Drive. feet, turn right onto Orion Street. Take the next right onto Orion Street. on Orion Street for half a mile. feet, turn right onto Martha George Hall Drive. Take the next right onto Martha George Hall Drive, then your destination will be on the right. Alright folks, I'll check in with you guys in a minute. <laughs> 